driveway. We spent the afternoon finishing the uh, clean out and found that there is some significant um, rot. So we have boards we're gonna have to replace here. The skin is not really connected well. Um, there are holes in the roof, pinholes, and water is pooling up here. And then the shelf that I thought was a bunk and hit my head on, there was some significant rot right here. And what was happening is water was coming in these pinholes up here, sliding down a piece of formica and then pooling in that shelf. And the shelf was made of one by sixes with formica on either side. So it just held the water. And the water would come right down here. So all of those boards are going to need to be replaced. But on the whole, um, I now have a blank slate. Seven foot by nine feet to work with. Let's see, see where we go from here. Well, um, major con deconstruction and reconstruction has started. I took some back panels off and found that there are loose boards back here that don't even complete. They sort of end right over here. This, this major support choice uh, wasn't even screwed in. This was just sort of set there. Hoping that maybe the skin would hold it in place. And, you know, I always wanted a skylight in my camper. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit too much of a skylight. But what's interesting is uh, I removed the aluminum roof and it was so horrible that all I had to do was run a... Uh, an X-Acto knife along the edges, and that scored it enough that all I had to do was then just punch and it all completely separated. Now I'm gonna remove this seam from under here. Um, the joists, many of these joists were just kind of set in here. Just, just loose, I could just pull them out. <laughs> and, um, in several places, the aluminum roof was actually stapled to the wood joists, and then they wondered why it leaked. Interesting. And they, they had stapled through sort of the middle instead of where the seams are so it could be covered. It, it was just amazing the absolute idiocy of the, uh, the construction that was done here. The, I should say the repair construction because they, they basically don't understand fundamental construction on how to attach a joist to, or a roof truss to a wall and other things. There's no, there was just randomly spaced joists for the roof. Um, the trusses are curved and held in really by hardly anything at all. And so the major construction starting. Um, what's interesting is that the roof just peeled off like an old Band-Aid. We'll, uh, we'll check in when we put the new roof in.